Oh, watch it. Take a look at this. What is it? Just watch it. Someone sent this to me now. See? Hmm? Just look at this well. She's really on high drugs. So this is true. It will see, 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 see. Watch. You will see some white particles in her nose. Hmm. Who sent it to you? I don't even know the person's number. Traveling to put a call to do what? Huh? What are you doing with a gun? Uh, oh, God. Like I said, I have an emergency. I'm going to put a call. A friend of mine asked me to come over. I have something to tidy. As for the gun, it's registered. It's for protection. Give me that gun. <sighs> Dad, it's registered. You are not leaving this place with this gun. Okay. Can I keep it in? The drawer. Please, you are staying with me in this house. Stop, I need to travel. Young lady, are you Miss Lucy or Anugo? Yes, she is. She's my daughter. Well, my name is Inspector Wale from State Headquarters. 
my colleague here is Corporal Paul. You are under arrest for the murder of Miss Nkole and an attempted murder on Prince Udona. Lucy, you mean you murdered your friend and also attempted to kill the prince? Oh, Lucy. What have you done? Who asked you to do it? Well, you have the right to remain silent. So whatever you say or do here will be used against you in the court of law. Please. Move, move it. Please, Bangi, let's go. You see. You see. I finished. Move it! My, my daughter. My daughter, I'm finished. So, it is true that Lucy has been finally arrested. <sighs> it is good for her. Thank God for exposing that arrogant girl. This kingdom would have been in trouble if the prince had married her. Exactly. I'm happy it didn't work. <clears throat> so now, do you think the king will allow the prince to marry Lucy? <laughs> I don't think so. Me too. Mm. Please let us go before the queen will think that we've wasted time. It's true. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. You sent for me, Your Majesty. Yes. I spoke with the CP. The girl of my mother will be released tomorrow morning. Mm. Honestly, Lucy gave me the shock of my life. Our son would have been a dead man, if not for the intervention of the neighbors. It's a useless girl. <laughs> God just exposed her. <sighs> Your Majesty, we need to conversate once in our children here and hmm? You are right. Our son will be out of hospital tomorrow. Since the bullet wound is not life threatening, he will bring them here. No, no, no. Your Majesty, I suggest Sarah should go. Let her go get them. She knows their house. Hmm? I would like my son to rest once he's back from the hospital. Please. It's alright. Tell Sarah to go to your Majesty, I have a request. Go ahead. Please, can our son marry any girl of his choice? Granted. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. This is not the road to our community. Where are you taking us to? <laughs> to our house. Your house? Yes. Why your house? Um, my father said he wants to see you both. Your father? Yes. My father. <sighs> don't worry, he's a nice man. Okay? You don't need to be scared. <sighs> Come on, don't worry. Why does he want to see us? I don't know. But he wants to see you. He's a nice man, don't worry. Okay? Come on.
you and your sister told me what happened to you. But I'm fine now. Good afternoon, my friends. Tell me that Mas is my sister. Yes, she is. I was in the salon last week and I lost my hair and you gave me the right direction. Oh, hold on a bit. Were you the guy? Yeah. Oh, really? I remember that now. <laughs> well, so what's a beautiful girl like you doing on that? Is it Oh, is it right? Thanks for your care. I'm actually waiting for a cab. A cab? Come on. Can you grant me the favor of being a cab? Oh, you just can't be serious. serious. It's just to be. Are you serious? Yeah, very serious. Fine. Faces. Alright. I really do enjoy the accent today. Okay. Okay. Um, tomorrow is my friend's birthday. I don't know. Would you like to come with me to the party? Um, I can't say for now. But just give me a call tomorrow first. Okay, Teresa. But um, can I tell you something? Sure. You go ahead. I'm with you. I can no longer hide my feelings for some time now. I don't know. The fact is that I'm in love with you. I don't know. Will you marry me? It's just a few weeks ago we met. Don't you think it's too early to ask me of marriage? Besides, you don't even know anything about me. And I don't even know you too well too. My dear, that is not a problem. What matters is true love. Okay? I find out that I can't do anything without you. 
please marry me. Um, okay, um, can we just leave this conversation for now, please? Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, but, um, I just wanted to bear it in mind that I really like you. Like, please don't disappoint me. No, Ted, I've heard you. Can we now go? Alright. <laughs> Yeah, Udoka, please, can I see you now? Yes, now, it's very urgent. Yes. At the usual spots now. I'm already there. Okay, please, hurry. My God. What have I done to myself? Udoka is not the only man I ever knew. Why did I accept to follow him to that party? He must have taken advantage of me that night. Oh God, I have ruined my life. Was I supposed to know that you would do, do this to me? You see, I haven't said anything. How would I know what you're talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know, right? Take it. This is what I'm talking about. Is this for you? Are you asking me or are you asking the letter? Teresa, if this is a joke, just, just stop it. It's not funny. I don't find it funny. What joke? What joke are you talking about? I am pregnant for you and you're here making jest about it. <sighs> no, it's okay. It's okay. That's not the problem. Okay? I will take care of it. Take care of what? Like, I'll marry you. Yeah, I will. I'll marry you. Okay? That's not the problem. Okay? It's okay. It's okay, come on, smile. Smile for me. Come on, let's go. I left town after our last meeting because I was afraid what my parents would do to me if they discovered about the pregnancy. I'm so sorry I acted so shy. When I realized my mistake, I tried to locate you, but no luck. This is unbelievable. I told my wife about the pregnancy. Please forgive me. I will make it up to you. How possible is it to forgive? You kept me in this condition. No, I know my action must have caused you so much pain. Please, find a place where I had to forgive me. I'll make it up to you, please. The only way you can make it up to my mother is by marrying her. I beg your pardon. Did you not know that he is the evil of this community? I am sorry, my queen. I am sorry to disrespect you. The king's action is the reason my mother is still single till date. She's refused every suitor simply because of what the king did to her. My queen, put yourself in her shoes. Is it fair? Let's go. 
Non, il y a donc une tête de distorsion à aussi dans le You have found your S and her daughter. Well, you are not far from the truth. But now that I found her, can you make to drive her away? Fine. Fine. Do as it pleases you. What is that? You are my beloved wife. I love you so much. I love you for your act of generosity. We are the one who blamed you. When I told you the story of a woman I abandoned with her three months pregnancy, now that I found her, do you want me to take her out and drive her away? Please. I never said that, Your Majesty. The, the action speaks full. It's written all over you. The mistake has already been made. Think about this. If you were in my position, will you just take the girl and drive her away, the mother? Which was why I said, do as it pleases you, your majesty. Hmm? You are my wife. I need your consent on this matter. Please, let's reason together. Accept this girl, Mercy, as your daughter. And her mother as your sister. <laughs> Please. You know I can never share the love for you with another woman. It's not possible. Please, <laughs> it's not possible. Allow them to stay, please. Stay as what? I ask you, Your Highness, as what? As a second wife, or what? <laughs> your Highness, do as you have decided already. Which is I leave me. Whatever thing you want to do. Let's go. Let's go inside.
Oh, yeah, man, I need to. 